Okay. Um, looks like the recorded started, so let me start talking about what we're doing today. All right. I did have an original plan earlier. Um, the original plan was to do something Martin Luther King related, such as like a portrait, but I found out, uh, I did a trial run and it didn't look like it was gonna get done within 15 minutes. So I figured I'd do something different. So MLK is this upcoming Monday, and then maybe you will do something with your general ed teachers, maybe instead. So instead of doing an MLK project, we will be doing uh, some cute fictional uh, creatures. So let me just show you guys a couple of versions that we've done so far. I've been doing different animals um, for every class so far. So over here we have a dinosaur and mammoth that I did with one class. Another class I did a bear and uh, an elephant. Bear's kind of cute. Uh, last class I did with other fifth grade uh, kids, we did a turtle, a sea turtle actually, and then a whale. And then for you guys, we shall see what we're gonna do. So let me just turn my paper around. There we go. I am gonna be holding this paper horizontally. And with that said, I am going to save space by creating a rectangle on my page right here. There we go. And then after that, let me center it better on the camera. All right, that should be centered. All right, as always, or sorry, not as always, as the other classes have shown, um, I do wanna do different animals for each class I teach, just to keep it interesting. So I think for you guys, I wanna do different types of uh, cartoony dogs. So I found a couple of dogs I wanna do. And of course, I think we only have time for two. So we'll go with that. So for this dog, um, it looks like it's gonna be a pug. And I'm kind of excited because my in-laws have pugs and he was like playing with them. So it be, should be fun to draw. All right, first step. I want to draw the collar of this cartoony pug. Let me draw a nice thin rectangle right around here. That's gonna be the collar. I want to create little studs. So this is just a decorative element that I want to do. I'm going to draw little circles here. And then a dog tag. Again, this is another decorative element that you don't have to do. I'm going to make my dog tag diamond shape. All right. While we wait, I think I have time. So I'm just going to color it red while we wait. So if you need time to catch up, now would be the time. Again, you don't have to color right now. I'm just doing it so I save time. Okay, I think I might want to color the tag yellow. All right, there we go. All right, I'm moving on. Next step is the body. So for the first step, I do want to draw um, the bottom half of this dog. So I'm going to go from the right-hand side of the collar. I'm going to go down a little bit. And over just about this much because I want to create one tiny foot for this cartoony dog. Just like so. And then I'm going to go over a lot from over here. Looks like I'm going past the collar, which I did. And I'm going to make the back foot same size and shape as the other one. But then instead of going all the way, just to stop you right there, I'm gonna go all the way up. And then before I hit the collar, I'm gonna curve towards the collar right about that much. All right, I'm gonna zoom in for this next part just by holding up the sketchbook. For the front foot, I'm just gonna go, kind of copy it, but it's a little bit higher. And same with the back foot. Just like so. Pretty cute, huh? All right, this next part's a very interesting shape. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up on both sides of the collar. Probably about this high, probably, is a safe bet. 
And then I'm going to go over with a nice top curve. All right, this part's a little difficult, but I think you guys can get it. So this ear can go from here, kind of go over this much. And then it's going to look like a triangle by going down and up. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So from here, up and over, and then down and up like that. All right, I'll pause again, just in case I'm going too fast. And as I'm paused, I shall color the ears brown. And then just to add some dimension, I'm gonna add a darker brown somewhere. I can find a darker brown. Here we are. There, I have two different types of browns in the ears. All right, I wanna keep going. I'm gonna do a nose right in the middle. Upside down triangle, color it in black. Now this part's a little interesting. I'm gonna make a curved line or straight line that's curved go in this direction, about that much. One side over here on the left side is gonna have a little bit of a tooth going upwards. Okay, this next part's very, very interesting. So I'm gonna zoom in. All right, let me just, I keep looking back because it looks odd. All right, here I go. Hopefully I do it correctly. Looks like they go from this part of the mouth. They kind of go down and around and they connect to the nose. And then they kind of like go down again. It's very interesting how they do it. All right, I'm gonna have to pull my paper down so I can move on. Hopefully I have time for a second dog. Okay, I'm gonna put one eyeball on the very far left of this cartoon, the dot, and then another eyeball on the very far right, the dot. And it's interesting how they color it, so I'll do that right now so you could see. All right, so what they did was they kind of went around the eye with a brown to symbolize like a spot, I guess, one on the, on the other side. They made this whole section of the mouth brown as well. And then some details that they added were, um, there is three lines above the forehead, and there's a little tuft of hair on the very top. Oh, I forgot the tail. All right, since this is a pug, I'm just gonna curl it backwards. Okay. Very cute. I don't think we have time for a second one, unfortunately. But you know what? I guess I can show you guys what the other classes did once more again. All right, so for you guys, we did a pug very floppy ears. I wish I did the ears smaller, though. Um, and then for Ms. Gazowskis, Perry, and Mrs. Storch's class, we did a sea turtle and an, a whale. And then for Miss Littner and Mrs. Weiss's class, we did a bear and an elephant. And then for Miss Blaylock and Miss Kern's class, we did a mammoth and a dinosaur. So again, we only did this because um, I changed plans last minute. We were going to do an MLK or Martin Luther King Jr. project, but um, plans change, so we end up doing this instead. All right. Um, I do want to give you guys an opportunity, because I did always promise you guys in the past time to share anything. Does anyone want to share any artwork or anything that they have done? Uh, Gabriel, go ahead. 
I'll mute myself. I have two things. I have um, Magalore from Kirby Return to Dreamland. And Kirby, and then a broken suit.